Hey guys, welcome to Halftime Roomies. And today we have a special NFL episode for you guys. Uh, the wildcard rounds are already underway today. And Colts have uh, already lost to the Buffalo Bills, 27-24. Josh Allen had a really good game. Again, two touchdowns. Uh, as we speak, uh, Seahawks and the Rams are already underway. And later on, we have... Uh, the Buccaneers, uh, Tom Brady going up against the, the Washington football team, as we now call them. And that's one game that I'm really excited for because Alex Smith, as we all know, has been uh, the story of the season. A guy who almost lost his leg two years ago uh, and has gone through so much of rehab and uh, tra just training, training just to just to learn to walk again. Uh, and this guy comes back, plays eight games, throws for over 1,500 yards in the season. Uh, it's been a great story for uh, for the football for the Washington football team. Uh, he will not be playing today. Uh, he is on the inactive roster, um, but the game is happening in DC. Uh, personally, I'm rooting for uh, Washington to win this game against Tom Brady. Tomorrow's games, the wild card round continues. Tomorrow we have uh, Baltimore Ravens going up against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, the second game of the day is Bears and the Saints. Uh, and, and then we follow up uh, with the final game of this round, uh, which is uh, Browns versus Steelers. Again, Browns and Steelers, again, two kind of fairy tale seasons this year. Uh, Steelers went 11-0 and up until they lost uh, two games back-to-back. -back, and Browns just have had a great resurgence, great, great year this year. Uh, so again, a really, really interesting game uh, tomorrow as well. Personally, I hope to see the Browns win. Uh, but I do feel that the Steelers might with with Big Ben coming back, the Steelers might take this game. Moving on to kind of uh, not something that I'm a big fan of, but something that probably we need to do for this, uh, the predictions. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, who were on opening day the favorites to win the Super Bowl, are still the favorites to win the Super Bowl. Uh, but the disappointment of the season have been the Baltimore Ravens who have dropped from co-favorites into uh, the sixth, sixth on the on the odds. Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers are now second favorites to win the Super Bowl uh, right behind the Chiefs. And uh, surprising, again, again, a really good resurgence story that ha has happened this year. Buffalo Bills are now third favorites to win the Super Bowl this year. And Josh Allen uh, and the whole team, they've done a really, really good job. Um, last year was a really good year for them. And this year, they just blown the competition apart. Again, NFC will be a very tough... Uh, teams in the NFC will have a tough road to the Super Bowl because you've got a really, really star-studded, uh, loaded uh, roster of quarterbacks playing for the teams in NFC. You've got Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, uh, Drew Brees, and, and of course, Tom Brady. Moving on to some Green Bay news. We have uh, a bunch of uh, all-star selections this year. Aaron Rodgers, Devante Adam, uh, Zadarius Smith, uh, Jair Alexander, David Bakhtiari, and Corey Lindsley. So again, six six players uh, who went all pro this year for the Packers. Uh, really good uh, year for, 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 for my team. And moving on to the last segment of today's episode, uh, kind of the predictions for the NFL honors that will happen on the 6th of February, a night before Super Bowl. Uh, the surprise team of the year for me personally has been the Buffalo Bills. I, I I would almost put Cleveland Browns up there, but the way Josh Allen has had the resurgence, uh, for me it has to be the Buffalo Bills, uh, the surprising team of the year. The disappointment of the year, actually I would have to go with Eagles, because with the kind of talent and the kind of team and the coach that they have going 4-11-1, it's not really acceptable, um, especially for a team that won the Super Bowl just a few years ago. Uh, the offensive player of the year, Aaron Rodgers. I, I mean, there's no argument that I can make against that. 48 touchdowns for the season, which ties him fifth all-time on the list of single-season touchdowns with Dan Marino. Um, Derrick Henry had an amazing season, 2,000-plus rushing yards. Only the eighth time that's happened in the NFL. Uh, Josh Allen had a great season, but I think... Aaron Rodgers and his importance and his value to the Green Bay Packers uh, and just the fact that throwing 48 touchdowns with a passer rating of 121.5 puts him uh, just over the edge to, to win, win, win the offensive player title. With defensive player, I would probably have to go with Aaron Donald. Uh, this will, I mean, he, he, he is a two-time defensive player of the year 
in the last two years. So he he is a two-time defending uh, champion. Uh, and as Athletics Shield Kapadia wrote, because of Aaron Donald, the Rams don't have to blitz at a high rate, and no defense was more effective on plays where they rushed four or fewer. So I mean, I guess yeah, Aaron Donald. It's kind of an easy bet. It is it is a tough tough one, but it, but it is but it is an easy bet for Aaron Donald to take it. When it comes to the coach of the year, uh, Kevin Stefanski over Sean McDermott off off the Bills. The reason I would say that is because Sean McDermott has had that team or he's been building that team and you could see it coming for the last couple of years. Whereas Kevin Stefanski, even though he had uh, the quality um, that the Browns have, it's it's just going from being the bottom feeder team, going from being the team that always took the first pick in the draft to actually becoming uh, near contenders, I think uh, Kevin Stefanski, that, that puts him over uh, for the Coach of the Year award. The Comeback Player of the Year award has to be Alex Smith. I don't, I don't think there's any doubt about that. I don't think any fan would disagree. Alex Smith is one of the most inspirational stories that has happened in the NFL in a, in a, in a while. Um, and, I, and I've mentioned why. I mean, losing your leg, multiple surgeries, injuries, and just uh, being ridden off by everyone. Great, great, great uh, season for the guy. And our uh, last prediction, the MVP. There's no way anyone takes this over Aaron Rodgers. He is pound for pound the best quarterback on the planet at this, uh, at this moment. He was the best quarterback in the league this year. Uh, again, 48 touchdowns, 121.5 passer rating, leading the Green Bay Packers with, glim- with not as many weapons in his arsenal as, let's say, compared to a team like uh, Ravens or the Chiefs, uh, or even Buccaneers for that matter. And and what Aaron Rodgers does every year is he brings the X factor to a team that our near contenders fall short every year um, and the only difference between Packers being redundant uh, and falling down the draft falling into the draft uh, and, be- and being playoff contenders every year is solely Aaron Rodgers um, again if Aaron Rodgers wins this which he should this will be his third MVP title uh, in the last 10 seasons and uh, kind of just the last three predictions uh, who do I see winning the AFC I had I have to say Chiefs. I, I don't see anyone beating Patrick Mahomes uh, in the AFC this year. Who do I see winning NFC? I have to say Green Bay Packers because they have the bye round. They're not playing in the wild cards, and the Packers have just been dominant. There's no way I I, I just don't see them losing uh, to anyone in the NFC this year. The Super Bowl between Chiefs and the Packers. I have to be biased on this one because the Packers have been my team for decades now. Uh, Green Bay Packers. That's the only. Oh, that's the only option. That's that's the only choice there there is this year. Uh, it'll be a smashing victory for, for for Green Bay Packers. Second title for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, again, that's just me speaking. I don't know what will actually happen. But yeah, that's uh, that's my predictions for this for 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 this playoff. It was a great regular season. I, I hope it's going to be an amazing uh, playoff uh, playoffs for 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 the NFL. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the NFL honors uh, this year. And uh, the Super Bowl is happening on the 7th at the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Yeah, so it'll be good to see Packers defeat Chiefs uh, at Tom Brady's home. And uh, I think that does it for me at Halftime Roomies. I will see you guys uh, next week again with the uh, divisional uh, divisional rounds. And uh, do like, share and subscribe. See you soon. Cheers.